What's going on, everyone? I'm back with another YouTube video here. So, what you, I'm going to be showing you what's the best way to catch brown trout and rainbow trout. And one of these ways really worked yesterday. I'll show you a picture. I caught my personal best brown trout. It was five pounds. It was unbelievably big. I'll show you a picture right there. If it can focus. Yeah, so that was it. I, I, I'll show you when I get to the end of the video how I caught that. But I'm going to show you how the best way to catch rainbows first. So what you want to do is you want to take a one-fourth of an ounce weight so because it's slidable like this. And then the knot that I really like to tie that to the swivel right there is the double palomar. Just, it's a super strong knot. And so... You take it, and then let me just cinch this down real quick. So, yeah, and then you tie it there, and you want to take, like, a maybe a foot, foot and a half, two feet. Maybe I'm not even really sure. But you want to take that much. That's, like, the perfect amount right there. And then you want to tie it to the other end of the swivel like that. And then once you get down to the hook, you want to use a size 11 hook. I just find that the smaller it is, the better it's the hookup ratio is because it's just smaller. So I have these little power bait trout eggs or salmon eggs, one of them. You can get garlic scented or not, but I like garlic scented. I feel like it works better. But they, comes in, they come in these little strings like this. And what you want to do is you want to take off two like that. You want to take off two. Like so. And then what you want to do is you want to put them on the hook, but keep them connected because they're connected right there. That just makes it so it's a lot easier for them to stay on the hook, which they generally do. It's just easier. And so I personally like the orange color, but I'd get the yellow too because then you can figure out what the trout like in your pond. So yeah. And um, when you cast... The reason why you want to have the weight free is that, so pretend it hits the bottom, and then a fish eat it. So when power bait goes in the water, it floats up so it's like this. And so when the trout eat it, they go pull line like this. And then once the rod, let's see the rods right here. Generally when they hit, it'll go like this. Or it just, the line goes super tight like that. And so, yeah, then you, once you get that, you want to get to your rod as quick as you can and sort of just reel into it, not really set it, because then you'll rip the lure out of it. I mean, the power bait balls out of the trout's mouth, and you don't want to lose it. So you want to just reel into it. So that's the way, the best way to catch rainbow trout. But brown trout is almost the same, but you don't want to use the power bait balls because they generally don't go for it. Those, what you want to do is you want to take a live worm. You want to thread it through at the top and then thread it to, through at the bottom. So it's sort of like a little loop right here, like a little ring. And then, so once you do that, you sort, I don't really have it on me right now, but once you, what you want to do is you want to take like a little um worm blower upper thing so what you want to do is you want to stick it in the worm and then press on it and air will go into it causing it to float float which is just like the best thing we my me and my friend we caught like four trophy brown trout yesterday i think i'm not even really sure that's what a guy told us but we only kept one because we wanted to keep him alive. So, yeah, that was the one that we kept, the five-pounder that I caught. But what they just kept hitting um, five-pounder after five-pounder. It was unreal. But what they were eating was, like, the weight. Just the same rig, the weight, that little golden swivel right there. And then the six pound mono, and it'd float up because you'd put air in the worm and it'd float up. 
and that's just the best that's the best way to catch brown trout i haven't been using it for a while i'm just sharing it because i've i've went fishing with it once and i caught multiple multiple fish but another good good i mean i'm talking good way is if you do own kayaks and you can kayak in the pond that you're trout fishing is um if i can get this unhooked which i don't think i can it's just i'll grab a different one if i can't but i do like this one i can't do that right now so i'll grab two different colors these i mean it's like this but i feel like it's just the brand that I get is a lot better. I'm going to just grab one color because it's easier to grab. So, yeah, they're called Joe's Flies. And if you have kayaks and you're allowed to kayak at that pond, what works the best is they sort of look like that. They're inline spinners, but they're a special brand that have, like, a little treble hook right here. If you can get to it, it has, like, a little treble hook right there. And then a little non like circle hook right here. And that the backup treble hook always gets them. It just if they miss that first hook, they always get it on the second hook. So yeah, the trolling and if you can get your kayak in there, trolling these just like a nice calm speed, not too slow, but not too fast brown and rainbow love them i went to this pond called unker's pond it you troll these you'll get i caught 20 to 25 trout maybe like 15 on these and um like maybe like five or six on the way i showed you before just the little um power balls and just it the normal small hook so those are three ways that i've learned that is very good for trout fishing and that'll get them every time so see ya have a nice day night morning or fishing trip see ya bye